Hi everyone, welcome back to Beautiful British English. Today we have a vocabulary lesson and we're going to be looking at creating both positive and negative sentences. Okay, um, We're going to do this with, very, very, with something very, very simple, uh, with like and don't like. Okay. Now obviously, like is a positive sentence or would be used in a positive sentence. Say for example, I like pizza. Whereas if you don't like pizza, I don't like, I do not like, then that is obviously a negative sentence. I don't like pizza. Yeah? So it's very, very simple. I like positive. I don't like negative. But we also have other ways to express the same ideas. And here you can see I have this word dislike, um, which dislike, um, we're using dis, Okay, which is a prefix to the word like, which gives the word a negative meaning. I dislike pizza. But what is the difference between dislike and don't like? What do you think? Well, let me give you my idea about the difference. If I don't like something, then perhaps, I don't know, I, that is, that is not a very, very strong feeling, as far as I'm concerned. I like something, I don't like something. These are not strong emotions, okay? So, I like pizza, yeah, I like pizza. I don't like pizza, you know? It's kind of like that. These are almost sort of 50-50. But when we start using words like dislike, dislike is very much um, a stronger word. It's, um, it, it kind of has... Um, I would say very much more an active um, component to it. If you dislike something, you definitely not just sort of 50-50. If I dislike something, that is very much, you know, um, I, I actively do my best to not go anywhere near it. Yeah? Uh, so it, it's much, much stronger. Now, what we can do is we can put like, don't like, and dislike onto, say, a, a scale, just to show you exactly what I mean by this. So, obviously, like will be in the positive element, positive side. I don't like and I dislike are negatives. But we can also sort of take this scale that you can see, and we can expand it. We can expand it to include lots and lots and lots of different ways to emphasize how much we like or how much we dislike something. And you can see on this scale that sort of like and don't like, they're very, very close in terms of their meaning. They are very, very similar. I either like something or I don't like something. Yeah, but at the extremes, you know, you can see um, love and adore, or you can see hate, or um, perhaps despise, yeah? So there are lots and lots of different ways that you can add meaning or more emphasis to your negative sentences, yeah? And so this is a great way to expand your vocabulary as well. Instead of just using like or don't like, yeah, there are many, many different ways to create negative meaning or even more, even positive meaning in your sentences. Now, while we're on the subject of negative sentences, let's talk about the double negative. So, the double negative. Now, the double negative in English is it's really important that you understand why double negatives are incorrect, but also why some double, double negatives are actually okay, yeah? So let's just take a look at a simple sentence. I don't want no pizza. I don't want no pizza. Now, in some languages, uh, this would be correct. I don't want no pizza, yeah? Um, some languages do have double negatives and they are grammatically correct. Now, in English, this is grammatically incorrect because we have a double negative. I don't, I do not want no pizza. So we have a negative and a negative. And in this case, the double negative 
it's just grammatically wrong. Okay. What, what should this word be? If I don't want no pizza. What should this word be here? I don't want any pizza. I don't want any pizza. Now that is grammatically correct. But the thing is, in certain parts of the UK, you might actually hear people say, I don't want no pizza. Okay? Because colloquially, uh, or regionally, it's acceptable. Yeah. Although grammatically, it is wrong. Um, I, might, I might sort of use a similar sort of um, phrase myself on occasion as well. I don't want no pizza today, thanks. You know? Uh, grammatically, completely wrong. But it is a very, sometimes it's a very natural way to use the language, okay? Um, but you do have to be, so you do have to be really careful about your double negatives, all right? Especially if you are writing or you're preparing for some sort of um, exam like your IELTS. Don't use double negatives because it's just wrong from that grammatical point of view. I don't want no pizza, nah. It sounds a little bit strange, um, but there are some occasions, like I said, when it is acceptable, yeah? Let's take a look at another sentence. I don't hate pizza, I just don't like it. I don't hate pizza, I just don't like it. Now, hate, okay, is obviously, it's a negative word. So, I don't, I do not hate pizza. So, we kind of have a negative and a negative in a sense. I do not hate pizza. Now, this is actually perfectly fine grammatically because we have the negative, but actually hate. Although it has a negative meaning, it is a positive, from a grammatical point of view, word. Okay, so that is actually correct. I just don't like it. And again, we have another negative over here. So, I don't hate pizza. I just don't like it, yeah? So we actually have lots of negatives in our sentence, but this sentence is grammatically correct, yeah? I don't hate pizza. This, is a, this clause has one negation, one negative. The second clause, I just don't like it, has one negative form, one, neg one negation to it. So this is actually grammatically correct and a perfectly acceptable way to express yourself, yeah? So, from a vocabulary point of view, what I would like you guys to start doing is really expanding your vocabulary um, in terms of positives and negatives. So instead of saying, I like, I really like, um, and I, I don't like, or I hate, yeah? Try and think of many, many different ways to expand your vocabulary. Think of the scale that I've shown you. Yeah, and try and come up with your own scale. Put your own words in that help you express your ideas. Yeah, remember not to use double negatives. Okay, I don't want no pizza. Okay, but think of some of the more advanced ways that you can create negative meaning with your words.